Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from CMI Data Science 2022, problem number 4 and 5. So let's start with problem number 4. So let E and F be events such that probability of E intersection F complement is 0.2, this one, probability of F intersection E complement is 0.3, and probability of E intersection F whole complement is 0.7, where for an event E, the notation E e to the c denotes the complement of the event so it's known then we can conclude that p of e inter e union f is this e complement and so, so we have to figure out these these quantities whether it's true or not right so the three the things that are given are p of e intersection f complement p of f intersection e complement and p of e intersection f whole complement so see from the first one p of e intersection f complement can be written as p of e minus p of e intersection f right and this is given to be 0.2 right again p of e intersection f is 1 minus p of e intersection f whole complement right 1 minus the complement so this is 1 minus 0.7 this is 0.7 remember this thing is 0.7 this one so 1 minus this thing so we get 0.3 so p of e intersection f is 0.3 now this thing this thing as we just found out just p of e intersection f complement is p of e minus p of e intersection f is 0.2 right this one from the given first one so we already found out this quantity p of e intersection f it's 0.3 so p of e is actually 0.2 plus 0.3 it's 0.5 so probability of the event e is 0.5 so here it is 0.6 option d says that p of e is 0.6 so option d is not true right it's false option d is false right what about option other options let's see so again p of f intersection f e complement is given 0.3 right so this can be written as p of f minus p of e intersection f so see this part is already known it's 0.3 so p of f is actually nothing but 0.3 plus 0.3 is equal to 0.6 so p of f is actually 0.6 option c says that p of f is 0.6 so option c is true right this one is true again union f is can be written as p of e plus p of f minus p of e intersection f this part we all we have already found out p of e and p of f is 0 0.5 it's 0 0.6 and it's 0 0.3 so it's 0 0.8 so p of e union f is 0 0.8 what about the options p of u, e, e union f the union of e and f is actually 0 0.8 so option a is also true right option a is true what about the option b p of e complement intersection f complement f complement right not the whole complement p of probability of e complement intersection f complement right so see p of e intersection e union f whole complement probability of e union f whole complement is actually 1 minus p of e union f right it is 1 minus the event so it's we have already found out that probability of e union f is actually 0.8 so probability of the complement of that that means probability of the complement of e union f is actually 0.2 now, by the De Morgan's theorem, probability of E complement, intersection F complement is actually nothing but the probability of E union F whole complement. So it's 0.2. So this part is 0.2, right? But here it is 0.3. That means option B is also not true. So option A is true and option C is true. Option B and D are wrong. So these are the this is the solution of this problem. Very easy problem just to use the set the notations the we have to write the you know the the algebra of the sets right how to write uh, an event in other ways right and the de morgan's theorems and all that very easy very easy to find so very easy to solve this problem so let's move on to question number five so question number five says let a and b be n cross n invertible matrices of re real numbers and let's e equals to i plus a a transpose and d is equals to i plus b a a transpose b transpose we can conclude that so we have to find out whether when say first one is about inverses a b whole whole inverse so a and b are invertible right that means a inverse and b inverse exists and c is given this i is nothing but the identity matrix right so c is this and d is this now since a and b are invertible that means the product a b is also invertible and we know that AB whole inverse is actually B inverse into A inverse, right? Because we can easily check that. If, if you if you think why is that, it is you can easily check. This is AB into B, B inverse into A inverse actually I, right? 
so this is actually the inverse of ab right so this is true therefore option b says that ab whole inverse is actually a inverse into b inverse which is wrong right so the option b is wrong again option a is also wrong it says ab whole inverse is actually i plus b inverse into a inverse so, option a is also wrong what about option c and d we have to check the transposes of c and d respectively so c is this a plus a into a transpose so, c transpose is actually whole transpose transpose distributes among sums so it's it i transpose plus a into a transpose whole transpose now when distributing among the product among the terms in the product the actual terms reverses so it's a transpose whole transpose into a transpose this term reverses so a transpose whole transpose into a transpose so it's i plus a into a transpose again we get c so c transpose is actually c right so option c is true what about d d says i plus b into a into a transpose into b transpose so d transpose is the transpose of this whole thing again distributes among sums uh, while distributing among sums it's very easy but while distributing among the product transpose the product has to be written in the reverse form so it's b transpose and then tra the transpose of that and again a transpose a transpose of that then a transpose then b transpose right just just reversing this product reversing the terms in the product and distributing the transpose in each of them to a into a transpose into b transpose that means again it is d therefore d transpose is actually d right so we have actually found out that option a and b are false and option c and option d are true so the last two options are true and the first two options are false right so yeah that was a very easy problem right just the very uh, elementary basic properties of the matrices you have to know to solve this problem very easy right so yeah there you have it the solution to this problem so do like share and subscribe to the channel for more exciting problems see you till next time